Hi everyone, today we're talking about PAR lamps. The invention of PAR lamps came about because the simple light bulb shed its light in all directions. The thought of being able to focus the light from a bulb into a narrow beam was a revolution at the time. Focusing the light increased light intensity and it also means the light bulb can direct its light beam across further distances. So how was this achieved? Well, by making the light bulb smaller and then surrounding the bulb by a reflector, light coming out in all directions was redirected to a relatively narrow beam. PAR stands for parabolic illuminized reflector, a parabola being the best suited shape for the reflector, and the reflector was made of a highly reflective aluminum material. Engineers at light bulb factories now making PAR lamps played around with the shape of the reflector and were able to offer the same PAR lamp with different beam spreads. Thus was born the terms to describe the beam angle of PAR lamps. Five in total, from very narrow spot, narrow spot, spot, narrow flood, and flood. Since they were invented, PAR lamps have been using the same technology as the regular light bulb, incandescent. Electricity running across a thin metal filament, heated that filament so hot, it glows white hot. They were slightly improved when adding halogen gas to the bulb surrounding that filament extended lifetime from about 1,000 hours to 3,000 hours. But short of that, incandescent PAR lamps have changed very little. The LED revolution in lighting is perfectly suited to PAR lamps. The LED chip is easily covered by an acrylic lens and this makes it perfectly suited for accurately directing the light. Let's take a look at the three most common residential PAR sizes. PAR 20, PAR 30, PAR 38. Generally the bigger the number, the bigger and more powerful the PAR lamp. The number after PAR references the diameter of the bulb in eighths of an inch. So a PAR 20 is 20 eighths or two and a half inches across the face. The LED PAR was designed to replace the outmoded incandescent option. So when giving off an equal light intensity and light spread, the LED PAR bulb will only use about 15 or 20 percent of the electricity. For example, a PAR 20 incandescent of 50 watts is now replaced by an LED PAR 20 of only 8 watts. A PAR 30 incandescent of 75 watts is now replaced by an LED PAR 30 of only 12 watts. A PAR 38 incandescent of 100 watts is now replaced by an LED PAR 38 of only 17 watts. What's more, LED bulbs last a lot longer. A bulb like in a regular incandescent PAR that uses halogen gas in a little glass bulb will last around 3,000 hours. An LED PAR will last around 50,000 hours. More than that, LED is solid state lighting, which means it has no moving parts, no gas or glass to break. Drop an LED bulb and it'll work when you plug it back in. And LEDs run cool. Even after being on for many hours, you won't burn yourself touching them. Finally, another improvement LED PAR lamps have over their old incandescent cousin is now you can choose the color temperature of the bulb you want. This is explained further in an introduction series in our library, but essentially the type of white light, which is the most noticeable characteristic of light, can be chosen with LED, from a warm 3000K to a neutral 4000K to a cool 5000K. This is pretty personal and unlike the old halogen incandescent PAR lamps, you now have your choice. If you have some halogen incandescent light bulbs and need to replace them, the bad news is governments all over the world are banning them for being too inefficient. But the good news is there is a much more efficient LED PAR lamp perfectly suited to your needs right now. And they cost a lot less than they did a couple years ago. Hopefully I've answered some of your questions about PAR lamps and if you're looking for more information, visit our YouTube library where we have an introduction series covering all the components, characteristics, terms, comparisons you might need to help choose your next LED bulb. Bye for now.